Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to Prudy's Kitchen. On the menu today, we have steak and veggie pastas. So good. If you're new to my kitchen, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So for today's recipe, we need 300 grams of rigatoni pastas, 300 grams of baby spinach, 500 grams of pork shoulder, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of black pepper, salt to taste, two onions, some ginger, three cloves of garlic, three tablespoons of olive oil, and some Parmesan cheese for garnishing. Here I have some salted boiling water. So I'm gonna boil the pasta according to package instructions, which is 12 minutes right here. Next, I'll cut my pork shoulders in stripes, in long stripes, okay? And then um, add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper to it. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil in a heated frying pan and roast the meat until it's fully cooked. And while the meat is cooking, I'll cut the onions, garlic, and ginger. The meat is done right now, so I took it off the heat and in the same frying pan, I put my onion, ginger and garlic and let it fry on low heat until it was translucent. While my onion mix is cooking, I'm going to blanch the spinach right now. So I tossed it into a pot of boiling water and took it off 10 seconds later and that's it. The onion is fully cooked right now. This took about five to six minutes. I added a teaspoon of thyme and took it off the heat. Next, I'll blend it right now with the spinach, adding about a quarter cup of water to let the blender move. And then it's time to assemble. Yes, the aroma right now, I can't wait to dig in. Seriously, I garnished it with a bit of Parmesan cheese. And um, right now, I think it's time to taste it. And before I go, I want to thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching me. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So good.